it is very much a possibility that uh, one can transform his form if he wishes to. And even today, it is a phenomena that's been witnessed by many people, particularly Hanuman Bhak, the devotees, the occult sciences have many aspects to it. One Veda is dedicated towards this. I used to hear about uh, Hanuman. Uh, about what? Hanuman. Hanuman. Like, he used to take uh, jet forms whenever he wanted. He used to fly. He used to have uh, a very small, like, he used to uh, concise his body to smaller size. Was it real or just any uh, fictionary or symbolic, uh, uh, you know, symbolic science or something like that? About a certain person becoming small or big or flying or doing something else, is that a possibility? Very much a possibility, very much a reality. It was very much prevalent in this country, in this culture, but it was looked down upon. But it was looked up elsewhere, particularly in the Native American cultures. There is a whole tradition of shamanism where it is… Uh, even today there's any amount of talk about how a Native American shaman becomes an eagle, becomes a fly, becomes a wolf, transforms himself into some other form and gets there and all this. So these are not just stories, it is very much a possibility that uh, one can transform his form if he wishes to. There is a panel in the Dhyanalinga where somebody transformed himself into a form that was relevant to someone else. Have you noticed it? Hmm? You did not? So, uh, about people taking on the forms that they wish according to the convenience is not a new thing or it's not an unheard of thing. Almost in every part of the world it is there. Particularly it is being publicized in a big way, big way about the North American and South American shamans these days, about uh, shamans. Becoming eagle and becoming wolf is… these two forms are very common for them. That was not unheard of here, but it was looked down upon in this culture. There it is being looked up to because this is not spirituality, this is occult. Here, uh, our occult scientists, I call them scientists because they are that kind, they don't bother to convert themselves into a bird or an animal because the risk. There is a beautiful story about uh, what's the name of the sage uh, who uh, swallows the. You know whom I'm talking about? Rashwini Kumaras, and they went to him to learn this Shuklacharya. Yeah, he, he be, took the form of a horse, is it? Ashwini Kumaras took the form of horse and he swallowed what? Shuklacharya, I think. So, uh, there's a whole big story which is maybe a kind of a branch out from Mahabharata, it's more from Krishna Uttara kind of thing. So there are any number of uh, historical events like that and… but that was considered crude way of doing things because when you take on the form of something else, this body has to be preserved and it can always be misused. So, there have been incidents where uh, somebody left his body here in some safety and uh, let's say became an eagle and flew for some time. But when the eagle came back, the body is gone. Now what do the, what does the eagle do? A eagle comes and sits here and says, I am a yogi. 
pathetic state, isn't it? <laughs> because you cannot fly, you think eagle, being an eagle is a big thing. Being an eagle is not a big thing. Though he flies high, he's only looking down all the time. It's better to sit here and look up rather than go up and look down. Really. So, here the occult scientists evolved other kinds of methods. That is, they themselves do not take on other forms. They pick other forms and make the forms work in a certain way. They will take a certain animal, usually one thing that is heavily used is a chicken. Or oh, you think that's a waste, huh? <laughs> so they will release the… They, you know, the chicken has to be young and vibrant chicken, uncooked. <laughs> so release the chicken's life and use that life form to do certain things for you. Rather than you taking on the chicken's body, you make the chicken do things controlled by remote controlled chicken, all right? A remote controlled chicken is better than you becoming a chicken, isn't it? Because you becoming a chicken, there is a risk. You left your body and went, you went out as a chicken and tried to do something and you become somebody's tandoori. <laughs> so, uh, they evolved better, more sophisticated methods to deal with the same things. Is that possible? Hanuman becoming small, big, very much possible. And even today, it is a phenomena that's been witnessed by many people, particularly Hanuman Bhak, the devotees. Change of form is a very common thing among the devotees of Hanuman, even today because that is the trend he set. Hanuman is a superman, okay, a little bit of tail and facial features, the rest is superman. He is a super superman. His strength is his devotion. The devotion in his heart is so strong. Because of that, he stood out shining because of his sheer devotion. So. Even if you happen to be a monkey, if you are a devotee, you can transcend your monkeyness and become something phenomenal. That's the story of Hanuman. It works even if you happen to be a donkey. So, yes, the occult sciences have many aspects to it. One Veda is dedicated towards this, Atharvana Veda is all about this.